quick uh, video on um, uh, the 24 hour bag and also the EDC bag. I haven't had a chance to do the complete EDC bag, but I'm going to have all the primary stuff in there that you need in order to be ready for your bug out or for your event. Okay, so um, this is another thing I wanted to start off with. Some people, they want to uh, go, equipment is extremely important. You, of course, the quality of the material, you're talking about the canvas or whatever the material is made of and the level quality, it's, it's durability. Those things are kind of important. But sometimes you, you have to learn how to improvise, right? So like you may not always have the, the, the high-end equipment, like you might have a 511 bag or a Condor bag. So this, this kind of thing, this is a starter bag. So this is maybe just as it, easy. It's a backpack, traditional backpack. But what I did was, uh, I'm trying to use some of my, my wife's creativity here. I basically took the, uh, the, the back straps off and then I un unlocked them or you know, unstrapped them here and then I crisscrossed them. So now I use this one sort of like a sling bag now. All right, so you see if I kind of go over here, you see how I ran across, this is what I did from here. So now I have a traditional backpack with all the necessary gear in there, and I'll go through this in a second. I'll come back to it actually, but what I did was just to improvise it, I go ahead, I just made it the cross, and then now I have a sling bag with the front carry or for rear carry. All right, so this here is basically my, my improvised bug hour, my EDC. Okay, so I have a lot of different things in here. I have some personal stuff in here, so I, I'm not going to go through the complete contents because it's kind of mixed up right now as I'm just traveling. But anyway, I keep my uh, my hygienics in here, my, my toiletries, like brush comb, toothbrush, toothpick, all that stuff like that. Um, then in this particular, this is the first section right here, then I keep some other stuff. I, I was just doing a training class, so I have a resistance band, I have some pins and some markers, I have a portable charger that I put in here, it's one of my, my hats because it's a bald spot, you know, I can get rid of it. Once in a while. Um, of course, I have, um, I have, uh, what I call it muscle juice. This is like the Dick That Job, a buddy of mine makes it, well, one of the instructors. And of course, I have toothpaste in there. Um, I have some real fast, quick uh, medical stuff. I like to keep all my medical gear just to keep it uh, sterilized. I like to keep it in little Ziploc bags. It's highly recommended. A pair of medical scissors, cut scissors, band aids. I have iodine, uh, all kinds of stuff in here. And I have two different bags with it. This particular bag is very similar. I have some uh, military grade gauze and some other things in here. This is what I use as my more advanced kit. So I have a little bit of uh, combination of both. Um, that's the next section. Then on the side, I carry my uh, my karambit. All these things I just zip it into the pocket. That way I can hook it. And if I want to, if I want to do uh, a quick draw, I can go ahead and do that from the side. Just keep it secure like that. That way, it's still to the side. Um, other side pockets, you know, it doesn't have one on this side, but on this side it does. Okay, so that is that. In the main area right here, I guess I can unzip that over here. Kind of hard to standing. I have a training manual, so those guys, you guys who have law enforcement, you're carrying all your, your books and your, your reports and all that stuff, you can put that in here. Um, I carry my D pants, an extra belt in there, so that's my basic idea for that. Now, again, this is. This is just what I carry because I'm traveling and I'm, and I'm doing more of a civilian type of carry. However, if you have uh, other purpose, like your law enforcement or if you're, some, if you're working as, a, as an EP and you have a contract you're going through, you need to protect you know, a principal, that's you know, also use it for that. All right, so that's here. Kind of got that out the way. Now I'm going to go back to the backpack, which is going to be my improvised sling. All right, so again, this is a regular start bag. It's really simple, but what I did was, you can kind of tell, I kind of crisscrossed the, the, the strap. I just like, unstrapped them, wrapped it around, and re-secured it. And then I just made this one adjust it a little bit longer so it serves as my sling, okay? So basically what I do is I can have, I can have this one carry as a front sling, which means if I want to go ahead and retrieve anything I do, I can just go ahead and get it from there, any of those pockets. This little square pocket right here, this is where I usually keep my ammunition from here. So and I'll go through the contents in a second. See, I have a, a, a round right here. Uh, so yeah, my general advice too is if you're going to carry rounds, if you're going for like 24 hours uh, excursion or something like that, you might think you're going to get involved in an event. Carry about 100 rounds of ammunition. That's just my estimation. Um, again, this is carrying these are open pockets. I just have this one. I have a nice good open section here. You can kind of see. I carry this one. I won't tell you what that's for. So, yeah, anyways, none too weird. All right. Um, again, also since I have the sling, of course, I can back sling it and, and wear it that direction. It's not even that uncomfortable. I mean, it's not completely designed for that, obviously. But you know, you can kind of see good strap, and it's not too much off weight. I can still have mobility. 
So I need it. I, I can draw. You know, I can do everything I want to do. I could have, I have uh, you know, arm room, you know, range of motion and all that. So it's actually uh, not that bad. Okay, so then I'm going to do is like cover some of the contents. So that way you can kind of see, you know, about the weight and kind of stuff that I'm carrying. This is, I just put some of my fun stuff in here. I must know where I'm going really. This is a, my, my, my gun case. I have two weapons in here. I have a 380 and a, and a, and a, and a 9 millimeter Beretta. That's in there, and of course I would carry that in my bag, and it'd be more of a concealed carry. But right now I'm just transporting, so I keep it in the case and the ammunition separate, just like in the vehicle. Uh, that's the same. But anyway, you can kind of see the space in the room. I have a lot of, a lot of open uh, area, and this here, what I do is I just put um, like knives. I had I carry knives. I teach defensive tactics, weapons, Filipino martial arts, and stuff. So I bring. So this is my machete that I carry. Um, so it's a little bit longer, but it still fits in the cat and the section. And I can also turn it to an angle to make it feel a little better. And it still doesn't mess up my carry. Got a nice, good uh, from here, like a like a what's it, like a buck knife sort of thing. I have uh, some other ones that I carry in here. So some throwers I have. So, anyways, you know that's that's the idea. So once again, in this particular uh, little brief, you can just I just wanted to let you guys know that you can. You can do like an improvised carry. If you don't have the, all the necessary equipment you know, that you would need if you're ready for a bug out, or, you know, you have all the stuff, you're going to all these places, you know, trying to order all these things offline and they, they, they get kind of kind of costly. Just work with what you have, you know, just kind of like learn how to adapt and overcome. That's the idea. So now I can wear this. I'm just going to leave my uh, pistols out of it right now. I'm just going to show you how the carry can work. And just pet that around. There you go. Sling, right carry, this is your back carry, still have that same range of motion, all that, and there you go.